everybody, it's your old pal Larry back from Monster Movie App with another revised video review for you. Today we're going to revisit The Woman Chasing the Butterfly of Death from Mondo Macabro. Now apparently the tight ass nerds over at Mondo Macabro, uh, Jared, had a serious problem with my first review. Uh, they said that I misrepresented their product. When I asked why or how we misrepresented it, they said that uh, I had an uninformed review. Uh, I had no knowledge of the work involved in creating the Blu-ray. I had no knowledge of the state of the film negative that they had to work with. And I also had no knowledge of how older South Korean films were preserved. Well, that is all very true. But you know what a reviewer needs to review a reissue like this? Two eyes, two ears, and a fucking Blu-ray player. That's the extent of the knowledge that you need to tell if it fucking looks good or it doesn't. If it sounds good, if it doesn't. Now, say I wanted to inform myself on all of these things that Jared thinks that I should have informed myself on prior to reviewing his piece of shit release. Um, where would I go for that, exactly? Well, um, I checked the press release. None of, this, none of the information that he included was in there. Uh, I checked the, the DVD or the Blu-ray itself, the uh, sleeve. It wasn't on there. Um, was there a disclaimer on the movie that explained what happened with the transfer and why it looks so shitty? No, there was not. Um, now, who's misleading who? Uh, you could make the argument that Mondo Macabro is misleading their fans. Um you don't know you're standing in a store but trying to buy this movie. Shouldn't it have a disclaimer on the Blu-ray itself that says, hey, if you're going to pay $18 for this, even though it says it's a 4K restoration, don't expect too much. Well, uh, it's misleading to say, hey, 4K restoration from film negative. Uh, you know, like it's restored. Uh, you know, like, a fan's gonna see that. Oh, HD! Wow, so this must look beautiful. Well, it fucking doesn't. And that's misfucking leading. Why don't you include a disclaimer on your fucking movie? I don't review fucking excuses as to why it looks like shit. I review fucking transfers, the sound quality, how they look, and how they sound. Does the customer give a shit about your issues while you're making this movie? Fuck no. They care about the end product and whether they think it's high quality or not. I'm sure the fucking, the, the crew at uh, Yugo, look it up, youngsters. At Yugo Automobiles, I'm sure they worked hard too. But does anybody really fucking care? Are you qualified to judge whether a Yugo was a shitty car that broke down all the time and you couldn't get fucking replacement parts for it? Um, I think so. If you can drive, you are qualified. You have the knowledge. And you won't misrepresent anybody by saying, wow, the Yugo is a piece of shit. Even though a lot of people worked fucking endlessly, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into those fucking cars. Who cares? Who cares? So, uh, I review my, I re do all my reviews from the angle of a fan. Somebody that comes on, just goes into a store and buys your fucking movie. Uh, there is a lot of re actual research that goes on. I build all this fucking shit uh, from scratch. There's hours that go into making one of these videos. Um, you know, like, I can't research information that's not available, especially if it's not provided by the distribution label. Uh, duh. So let's see if I actually misrepresented these fucking assholes. We got uh, a series of shots from the movie, and uh, you tell me if, if you think it looks fucking great. Now, the little disclaimer here, to be fair, um, these were screen grabs, so obviously the quality is not going to be as great. But at the same time, you're probably watching it on your phone, which means the quality is actually going to be better than what Larry saw it as on a 200 inch screen projector. Um, so like, if it's shrunk down, the pixelation goes away and stuff. But uh, here we go. We're gonna take a look at this scene with the fucking lines that are going through it. 
Now you tell me, was this beautifully restored and color corrected? Or are you just looking at that fucking line that's running down the middle of the screen and the graininess of it? Uh, does it fucking matter to you what, who did what when you're staring at that fucking line throughout this entire fucking scene? So fucking apparent and never going away. A lot of people put a lot of work into this. But that looks like shit. So I don't think I misrepresented that scene. How about this one? Well, look how washed out these colors look. It's super grainy. The colors are fucking like... I don't know. They jacked up the brightness on this. I mean, look at the fucking red. <laughs> it looks like... It, this part looks like it wasn't restored. It looks like film that had turned red. And fucking... There you go. They made his fucking scarf bright. A bright red, I guess. How about this scene? Did I misrepresent this scene? Now this scene is grainier than uh, it actually is. I'm not going to bullshit anybody. But it still is fucking grainy as hell and dark as hell. Uh, with, with random lines that you just saw go through the screen there. Um, that part didn't change. I am not fabricating the lines. How about this line? Hey, look at, these, look at the colors popping off these fucking tents. Is that what you're staring at? No, you're staring at the fucking, another huge line that goes all the way down the center of the fucking screen. Taking away from your, your viewing enjoyment. There's another, another line that appeared for a second and then went away, you know. And then a, a night scene where it gets super grainy and dark and the line still continues. How about this scene? Maybe I represented this scene. These, this actually has beautiful colors. Look at the colors pop. Are you looking at the colors popping? Or are you looking at the, like the far right where the cigarette burns are flashing? <laughs> are you looking at that instead of the colors where you're supposed to be looking according to Mondo Macabro? No, you're looking at the fucking cigarette burn because it's distracting. Here's a fucking extra grainy dark scene with a bunch of fucking lines that run through it for fucking ever. Forever and ever. <laughs> this doesn't look restored at all. It, I mean, like, if you saw this on a fucking DVD, a uh, fucking public domain movie, you'd be like, yeah, that's what you fucking get. It's a public domain movie. I guess I didn't misrepresent that. You tell me. Here's another scene. Oh, there's a cigarette burn we just missed. Look at the lines to the far right. Extra fucking grainy. The dark has, the dark has no contrast. Uh, like, the, the hair has no detail. It looks like just a black blob. Um, the lines continue to the right and flicker. Uh, there was actually a flickering at the bottom of the screen that I wasn't able to capture. But uh, in several scenes, it was like the bottom, of the, the bottom of the screen was like doing this during the whole thing. And it was fucking distracting. Now, last and probably least... Um, I was so crudely said that, well, maybe somebody wiped their ass with the original transfer and that's why it looks so bad. Why would I say that? They accused me of being fucking crude and rude and everything else. That's not it. Um, I mean, doesn't that look like somebody might've wiped their ass on it? What, what is this? Is that fecal matter? People, I, I implore you. Whatever that, whatever that shit stain is, it stays for a really long time. A really long time. Throughout this whole fucking scene, it's something blurred out. Or, you know, it could be a nutty fucking turd that somebody... Lo oh, look at it. Get it's a mass that's growing darker. I don't know what... It, it, I'm, I'm going to call... I'm going to say it's shit. I'm going to... Stand by my original assessment and say somebody wiped their ass with this scene. Um, you know, what are you going to do? I, I, that's what I think. Now, uh, they also, Mondo Macabro also said they didn't like my reviewing style, that I was crude. And in, in answer to that, fuck you. That's my answer to that. Um, but the good news is, if you guys... We're unfortunate enough to get this thinking that, like, it was going to be a beautiful, like, Criterion or Synapse uh, restoration and uh, or Arrow. Uh, and you're sorely disappointed by the transfer. 
Old Larry's got you covered. I came up with some alternative uses for this, and uh, I'm gonna show you right now. If I can, if I'll turn off the shit frame here, they got me in so much trouble. Hey, uh, you don't want to watch this movie? It's too fucking shitty to look at. You could use it for a coaster. I mean, perfect, right? You could use it for a coaster. Or, all you need is a little screwdriver. And you could use your Blu-ray of this. Get beer. For a to-do list. You can write on it, put it on your refrigerator, and then you won't forget to get beer later on. How about this? You're having a party and uh, you want to liven things up? Well, throw your, your Blu-ray copy of this in the microwave and look at the electric light shell that goes on. It's fucking stunning and sure to please all of your party guests. Now, when you're done with that, the next day, look at this. You can take what's remaining of the disc and turn it into a sexy disco ball and uh, hang, maybe hang it from your rear view mirror. You know, something like that. So there's some alternatives for you to use it, how to use it. Um, just some suggestions. Use your imagination. Come up with something better. And write me if you, if you think of something. Now, uh, the truth of this is Mondo Macabro removed me from their press list. What a fucking shame. I'm going to miss their fucking shitty transfers and uh, how much they value them. Um, look, these guys are so close to their products. I get it. They work their work fucking hours and hours. Um, but, and, they, and they have a bunch of people around them, the uber nerds that fucking that like kiss their ass all the time and tell them how great they are. So they can't take a bad review. They've been inhaling their own fumes for too long. They think everything they do is fucking awesome. And if anybody comes along with, with honesty, that is what Larry will give you. I will give you honesty. Uh, they're just looking for a, a, a good review in exchange for a free Blu-ray. And uh, go fuck yourself. You're not getting it here. Well, hey, everybody, that's my review, and I'm sticking by it. Until I see all of you jerk-offs again next time, as always, get the fuck out of my house. Bye.